Hi friends, welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Courtney Rich with Cake by Courtney, and today we're making the classic, the most delicious, soft and chewy chocolate chip cookies. This recipe is a no fail. It is so yummy. The flavor and the texture as you're breaking open that cookie, it's gonna be soft and chewy, a little crispy, maybe right on the edges, but it's just a classic. So I'm gonna take you through all the steps, but you're gonna find this recipe is actually so easy and I bet you'll have it memorized after making it one or two times. In fact, this recipe is one that I told my son, I'm like, you've got to memorize this before you leave the house. It's so easy. You'll want to make it with your friends when you get off to college. And now he has his friends come over on the weekends and they whip out this recipe. He doesn't need to look at the cookbook. He knows it. It's just a great classic and you're going to love it. You'll find this one on my blog, cakebycourtney.com. So I'll link it below, but it's also in my second book, Bake by Courtney. You'll find it in the very first chapter with all the cookies. So let's get started. But first we're gonna talk about our ingredients. With cookies different than cakes, we like to start with cold ingredients. So remember with cakes, we want room temperature ingredients. So we get a really beautiful texture and a great rise. But for cookies to help keep the shape, we actually want our cold ingredients. So if you're using room temperature butter, you might find that your cookies go totally flat. So to avoid that, I'm starting with cold butter. And look, I cut it up into cubes so that it's easier to mix because it is gonna be kind of cold. So we'll start there. And I'm gonna mix that for just a minute to get it going. That's all we need, just a quick little mix. To that, we're gonna add our brown sugar and our white sugar one cup of each. The measurements on this are like just gonna be super easy. You're gonna love it. You'll pick up on it so quick. So one cup of our brown sugar and one cup of our white granulated sugar. And we're adding that unsalted butter, by the way. We're adding salt elsewhere, so I just like to keep that unsalted so we don't get too much in there. Now we're gonna mix the sugars and the butter on a medium high speed. We want this texture to look a little lighter and fluffier. So let's get that going. I'm just gonna have that on low now and we're gonna add our eggs. So we've got two eggs going in here, also cold. And after that egg, we're gonna add some vanilla extract. And let's turn this back up and make sure those eggs mix really nicely. Now in here, I've got one teaspoon baking soda, one teaspoon salt, one teaspoon baking powder. I told you the measurements. There's a lot of one, 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 one here. And then flour, we're using all purpose flour, three and a half cups. So let's just go ahead, mix those together really quickly. You don't even have to do this. I feel like you could just throw it all in there and it will work out just fine. But let's give it a little whisk to just evenly mix those leavening agents. Now, the mixer is gonna be low speed from here on out. We don't wanna over mix our batter. This is like cake as well, because it'll overwork the gluten in the flour. And that's when things start to get tough, like the texture will change. So we're just going to add the flour and mix until it's incorporated, meaning you don't see any more streaks of flour. Now I've got two cups of my dark chocolate chips. I love dark chocolate. It's just, you gotta know that about me. And in a cookie, I can't go with milk chocolate. I'm so sorry, I hope we can still be friends. So if you are like, I can't do dark, that feels uh, too bittersweet, and you love milk chocolate, I want you to at least try a semi-sweet chocolate chip. With the sweet dough that we have in here, going with milk, I feel like you lose the chocolate flavor. So that's why I like a dark chocolate or a semi-sweet because the chocolate still really stands out. So we're gonna add two cups. And again, just take 20, 30 seconds to mix. Okay. And I even have some of my chocolate chips kind of stuck at the bottom. So I'll just grab my spatula and just get those incorporated. The dough is done. You do not need to chill it. Who wants to wait to make cookies? I don't. I want to just get them in the oven as quickly as possible. So I'm gonna show you two cookie scoops really quick and let's just measure and see what our ounces are. I go a little bit overflow. This is my kind of medium one. Let's check our ounces here. That's giving me almost two ounces of cookie dough. 
So maybe this is maybe the one and a half. I can't even remember you guys. So we've got that one and that's the size I'm gonna do my cookies today. But I also have my large one and sometimes you just need a huge cookie because why not? Let's see what our ounces will be on that one. That's like three and a half. So we're almost little, not quite double, but that's, that's a big cookie. But today I'm gonna use the small one and let's just dish these up. I should be able to get about 12 on my pan. And my oven has been preheating to 350. So I'm gonna finish scooping these out and get about 12 on my pan. They'll, they'll come out just a little bit, but we should be okay with 12 here. And I just have a little bit of parchment paper on my pan. All right, let's get them in the oven. Cookies are out. They've cooled for just a minute. I know it can be hard to wait for cookies to cool to room temperature. They'll set a little bit more as you let them cool, but we're just gonna take our little cookie spatula. This is my favorite. It's from a store called Orson Giggy. Let's grab these and we'll let them, I let them cool for about, I don't know, about five, 10 minutes on the pan. And then the rest of the time, I just like to let them cool on a cooling rack and get some air just kind of flow underneath it. So scoop these out. And of course, we're gonna dig in. Mm. And if you're feeling adventurous, I highly recommend you sprinkle them with a little salt. Try that and let me know what you think. You guys, you're gonna love these. I'm so excited for you to try them. The recipe is linked below. I'll see you next time.